thread that through instead. How elevated is that coat going to... Hi guys, welcome back. So I thought I should do a video today about some of my favorite coats for the season. I did a video I know what about three weeks ago-ish on like some cool jackets and coats, but there weren't that many coats in it. Because the season is getting colder and colder, so I figured, you know what? This is the time when you're going to start reaching for your coats, if you haven't already. I thought I would give myself a budget of up to $250, so there is everything in between, but just going up to that as the ceiling price point. Coats are the number one buy of autumn and winter, so you've got to pick well. When you walk down the streets, wherever you live, that is what is showing the most in terms of your entire outfit, right? And I wanted to pick coats that not only functioned well so that they keep you warm, so they're cozy, but I also wanted to pick coats that looked good enough that you could wear them during the evening, like just draped over your shoulder. Maybe you're going out somewhere and you've got like, you're holding like your drink and you just, ha, you know, oh yeah, that's so funny, I know. Oh, did you see Stranger Things last night? It was so funny, wasn't it? <gasps> you know, but the coat is on your shoulders and people will go, oh, I love your coat, by the way. Oh, thank you. It's the kind of coat that you want to be proud enough to wear if you're stuck somewhere and you've got to keep your coat on. This is the kind of coat that you'd want to keep on anyway. It's not going to be the coat that you want to rush to take off. It's like, oh, I can't stand this coat. I want everyone to see what I'm wearing. No, the coat is what looks good. All right, I'm going to get stuck in with my first coat. Let me see what I've got. Oh, yes. Kicking off with and other stories. Saw this coat online. I was in Under the Stories, um, what, last week and the week before, and I have had a good look at all of their coats, and the quality of this one is beautiful. It's, um, it says it's a, uh, what is it? Alpaca blend coat. So it's probably got that, you know that ones that you can sort of semi-stroke? Those ones, beautiful. Price points for everything, obviously, are gonna be on the screen and linked below for you. I love that this looks like a classic sort of camel coat. And I like the fact that this is like a light camel sort of biscuit color. So it's a beautiful neutral. If you want to get out of your black coat and you're sort of afraid of color, I would highly recommend get a camel biscuit colored coat like this one. Love the length of it. Looks great just as it is styled with sneakers or trainers as they call them. Obviously you can wear loafers, any kind of ankle boots. It's one of those coats that just you throw on, walk out the door, looks good with everything. And it's got the belt, so you can obviously put that with it. But you know what I like about these kind of coats? Okay, yeah, you kind of kind of trench style coat it. But I think I've mentioned this in another video, you can always take out. Oh yes! Take out the um the what you call it, take out the self-belt, thread through a beautiful, obviously the same width, leather, a tan like a caramel colored belt or a black leather belt. One of those just braided, you know, like plaited. Thread that through instead. How elevated is that coat going to? Anyway, I love that coat. All right, next one. Oh gosh. I saw this one and I thought, what? Like the price point of this to me, it doesn't match what the coat is. This one is on sale from Yooks. You know that site that I've told you a lot about before? Saw this coat, it comes in at $242. Brilliant, the cut of this coat. Military, so it's classic. It's going to last you forever. Double-breasted, so it's ultra smart, really beautiful. This is, a, this is what I call a beautiful coat. And it's down to $245, like I said, on sale, classic camel. It's a neutral. So you've got like two classics, the color of it, the style of it being military. You team this with a black polar neck, a striped polar neck, any sweater. Oh, gorgeous, beautiful coat, knee high leather boots, over the knee, flat boots. Okay, and then I went on to J. Crew. This one is, I think it's $250 for this one. Look at this faux fur leopard coat. This is beautiful. I'm fussy about leopard prints. I think I've mentioned this before as well. I don't like them all because I don't think all leopard print patterns are equal. 
but this one stood out. It's dark enough to be wearable. It's a dark toffee brown with the, with the leopard print on top of it. Look at the um, reviews for this coat. Absolutely, 100% across the board, unanimous. Everyone is going, amazing coat, stunning. Wow, this, that and the other. Such a great coat, masterpiece, blah, blah. You get the point. Had to put this one in there. Okay, so I saw this coat from Marks and Spencers. It comes in at $160. You can get it from the US or the UK website. For US people, Marks and Spencers is an institution in England and they now ship to the US as well. And I saw this military coat. I believe it comes in two colors. And the reason I'm showing you this, again, it's that military cut that I think is such a classic. And I loved the color of this coat. I'm gonna show you on the screen here. I love when lapels do that, when the lower half of the lapel goes past the top part of it. I just think that's such a chic, expensive look, and this coat has that. So I'm showing it to you, I think, in red, so you can see that on the coat. So the black one has it as well. So it comes in two colors. Great coat, fantastic price point, smart enough to go from day to night. What else? Speaking of, how much is this? Mango. Mango has a coat for $199. It is this beautiful toffee brown faux fur coat. I love this. I remember when, you know when H&M had that coat that I told you about two weeks ago-ish? The one that's like this one from Mango? Anyway, when I saw this one, I had to put it in. It's one of those coats that just looks a lot more expensive than what it is, and nobody will probably guess that it's from Mango. I think it's one of those coats that you probably get compliments on because the material is so, you know, those kind of really soft, soft, pettable materials. It's like that, and it's in a wearable, everyday brown, dark brown color. It's almost the kind of coat that you wish you would find in a good vintage shop. What else? Oh gosh! ASOS, how much? $237. The brand, I believe, is Religion. This is a maxi coat in Mongolian fur, faux Mongolian fur, in this beautiful winter white. Now, I put this in because this is so rock chick vibe, I had to. And I also put it in because I own a, Mong a Mongolian coat. And I'm, no lie, every time I wear that coat, I get so many compliments when I wear this flipping Mongolian coat. It just blows in the wind. Like you stand still when it's windy, it just blows, it just moves in the wind. It's stunning. I'll insert some pictures so you can see it, but they don't do it justice. But when I saw this one from ASOS, I thought, this is exactly like a dupe for my coat. And you just wear like a small mini crossbody bag over it. This is a gorgeous coat. Rock chick vibes for life. Faux leather leggings with this would look absolutely badass. Sticking with ASOS, I saw this coat from Warehouse. Beautiful teddy coat. Isn't this gorgeous? I thought this looked so vintage looking that I had to put it in. I like those oversized lapels on the collar and just the little details of the strap around the sleeves at the bottom. Stunning coat, beautiful color. This is the kind of one that I would highly suggest that you go up maybe two sizes in at the most, because I think that they lend themselves to looking better when they're a little bit oversized on you. Oh gosh, look at this Anthra, hold on, $228. This Stevie Faux Fur Coat from Anthropology. Look at this. I'll just give you a second to take in the pictures of this. I saw this coat and my eyes just went, I thought it was gorgeous. Beautiful, in fact it is, stunning cut, love that color and the pattern on it is absolutely spot on. Okay, so this is a special one dear to my heart. H&M has brought back a coat that I have loved for literally years. I have this exact coat from H&M as well. Bought it about three years ago. My eyes popped out of my sockets when I was in the stores and I saw it. And ever since I've had it, I've had compliments when I wear it and I've had people ask me, oh, is it still available? Well, it's now back. This is the coat. I'll insert a couple of pictures so you can see how it looks on me, at least for the one that I have. It's fantastic. You rarely see, prove me otherwise, I'm sure someone's gonna do it, a gray, charcoal gray, leopard print coat that's cut like this, single-breasted, beautifully slim cut, slim, it's a very slender cut to it, so I'd highly recommend going up a two, two sizes if you can. 
you will thank me for that because you'll be able to wear all your jumpers under it. It looks really good with trainers or with sneakers or any of your low shoes. That is my favorite way to wear it. Stunning coat, highly recommend, and you cannot beat that price point. Oh yes, sticking with H&M. I've seen this coat in person. Some of you may have already. It's a hundred and, yeah, I think it's 149 for it. This coat with applique, at first when I saw it, I thought, oh, I don't know. But no, no. <laughs> I saw it in person and I love it. I, I absolutely love it. The cut has a vintage feel to it. It's like one of those crombie cut coats. Stunning brown, has a vintage feel to it because of that color of it. If, to me, this is the kind of coat that if you really like to sort of step out of your comfort zone a little bit and you want a special coat, this is the one for you. Okay. All right, and then my last one from H&M, sorry, I will promise I'll move on to other brands in a moment. I think I may have already mentioned this one, but it's worth putting in. Red is one of the, if not the color of the season. No, sod that, it is. This is the number one color of the season, right? This has to be probably the best price point for the quality factor ratio, if that makes any sense. Had to put this in. I won't waffle on too much about this particular coat. I've done so in the past. It's been restocked. Here it is for you. Love it. Okay, what else? Oh yes, Nordstrom. Nordstrom has this double-breasted long coat. Again, it's a military cut. Beautiful. And the price point of it, I just thought I had to put this in. It just looks so, so nice. I like the details on the sleeve. Gorgeous long cut to it. Slightly flared look to it when it's buttoned up, if you want that double-breasted, completely closed-in look. But I don't know about you, but I love when double-breasted coats are open, just left open, because they just look, they just have a certain hang to them that this looks, just looks luxe. And I, I just, this is one of those coats that does that for me. Oh, and that same coat comes in two different colors, I believe. It's got like this tweedy version and it has a solid black version. So you choose which one you prefer. If you had to ask me, um, the tweedy version. I would go with that one. Oh, and then Topshop has this coat for $180. It is their Checked Editors Crombie Coat. Is that right? Yeah, Checked Editors, God, that's a mouthful. Checked Editors Crombie Coat. Anyway, $180. It's, it's as classic as it gets. It's double-breasted. Again, wear it open. It's got that menzy feel to it. If you've not invested yet in a checked three-quarter length coat, this, I reckon, is one that you should try and get. I already own a couple of them. Couple or one? I'm not sure. You know, it's not good when you never know how many checked coats you've got. I had to put this coat in. Again, it's a classic. It's as classic as, it's as classic as it gets, just like a camel coat is. I don't think this is gonna go out. Window pane checks, which are much larger, giant square pattern, those are more likely to date than a checked will because checked is too similar to almost like a tweed in a way, which never goes out, does it? So yeah, and so then what else? I think that was it. Okay, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna put one more in and it's from Topshop, but it's been restocked on, I think Nordstrom. I'm not sure if Nordstrom or Topshop has it available on the Topshop website. I'll put a link for it below, but it's that shiny coat again. Remember that one I mentioned before, it's back. It sold out literally in every size and then it came back. I think Topshop.com has it in only one size and Nordstrom has it in all sizes. Anyway, get it from Nordstrom because they've got all the sizes. Beautiful, glossy, glossy as you like coat in that retro 70s like vibe to it. If you're the type of girl like who has already got quite a bit of outerwear but you want a special coat right this is the one you wear this is the coat that you wear like when i said in the beginning of the video that when you want to wear a coat that you don't want to take off because it's that nice you want to go to an event whereby it's like god i hope it's one of those where they don't have a coat check and it's going to be a bit nippy so when i'm inside i can just leave my coat on this is the coat you want to wear and anyway that is my lot i'm done i've listed my favorite coats for the season again functionality but also wanted to make it look really cool so it's something you'd be proud to wear like i said before in the beginning coats are the number one thing in fact it's the only thing people see when you're walking down the street really it's your coat 
so it's got to look good and again I kept it up to 250 at the most okay I threw in that Topshop shiny one which is a bit over so I cheated but I had to put it in because I really like it and I just thought it'd be worth it it sold out a couple of times and they get restocked boy I talk really fast sometimes anyway this video helps you at all please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I make two videos a week Tuesday and Fridays and that is my lot and also follow me on Instagram where you will see a lot of the outfits that I am wearing for the week between now and then have a good weekend as I always say and I'll see you next Tuesday bye guys you know, oh yeah, that's so funny, I know. Did you see Darker Things? No, Stranger Things. Oh God, that was funny. But you know, what the hell am I trying to say? I'm gonna go straight in with the first coat. The phone is ringing. Oh my God, the phone. Shall I answer it? Hello? Oh, for goodness sakes, the amount of spam calls I get on this flipping house phone is ridiculous. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do two videos a week. Videos. Coat. To me, clamel, ca clamel, clamel coat. What's a clamel coat? Classic as you like. Crop, ed, crop, ed, ah, I'm saying it so many times. Topshop has this checked editor's crumbie coat. Yes, I, crowd goes wild. Oh gosh, it's what time is it? Flipping neck, I got a meeting, I need to leave. Oh, why am I taking so long? Oh, it's got that trending check look to it. Oh, trending check look to it. Does that say? Oh, verbal diarrhea. Faux fur leggings with this, stunning. Faux, faux fur leggings, what the hell am I saying? Can you imagine wearing faux fur, what the hell are faux fur leggings? That must look awful, you're gonna look like Chewbacca.